Okay, so today Mitch and I solved the other mystery switch. That is the left switch over there. And for years, the homeowners have wondered what did that operate? Well, there it is. Sconces on either side of the doorway into the dining room. And also remember this other switch right here, we discovered operates the ceiling lights, which were also buried. These two sconce lights were buried in plaster too. So, um, the folks are real happy about having these two switches that never worked, working again. Okay, we have got the sconce lights relocated and we have extended the knob and tube wire. I used Panduit couplers, crimp connectors, and then I soldered them with high temperature solder. I put two layers of shrink wrap over each coupler, then one wire, the neutral got 14.2 NM sheathing, and the other wire got the old knob and tube sheath. And as you look up at the ceiling, those are the old knob and tube lights that uh, we discovered up there and reactivated them. And they are operated off of this switch here. And then those are the two sconces that had uh, also been buried in the mortar. So we relocated them to 70 inches high and 19 inches to either side of the doorway opening. And then this light switch here is the one that operates the sconces. And they had, they've lived here several years and didn't know what that switch did or what that switch did. And now they do. Those sconce lights over the fireplace, they do not have switches. And uh, those ones are probably going to be eliminated because they would like to have them in halfway over each of the columns on either side of the fireplace instead of on the sides like they are. They're too close to the uh, wood trim. So those will probably be eliminated. Um, so yeah, on this wiring here, we had to go down through the frame and across and then up the wall here. And we are still in motion on that, running the wire up. So we have to fish it up the wall here and into the box here. And this box will become one outlet and a switch that will operate the sconce lights. But yeah, the new paint looks really good. Okay, so that is it. But yes, very, very nice cool house. And to think it was all torn apart just a few weeks ago. It's all coming together. Okay, so <clears throat> the wall is a little bit offset. So I need to drill a couple of inches in from the uh, can't see anything here.
thing I have about a 20 inch bit and that's not long enough. Okay, so I have the wires fished upstairs from the basement now, going from the fixture on the left side of the fireplace, downstairs in the basement across the furnace room, and then back up this side here. You see I have the new ground wire and power wire coming up. And in this clip here, it's kind of hard to see, but there you see the two white wires, and those are the two whites and the grounds going in to the outlet and switch, then up to the light fixture. Okay, it is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so we're just wrapping up the job here for the week. And it is the sunset. It's pretty cool watching the killer whales out there on Puget Sound earlier today. And we have a beautiful sunset coming in. So anyway, it took a bit of doing, but we have our sconces are being relocated from here to here. And this uh, uh, steel conduit will be placed in mortar. And the reason to move that is to center the sconces over the pillar to either side of the fireplace. And these are the sconce lights that we uh, were working on. So they are now switched here and the outlet is grounded. And those ones, those lights were buried and nobody even knew they were there or that they had a switch. They didn't know that that switch there operated these because those were buried too. And we reactivated that knob and tube wiring. Okay, we have relocated the lights up here. Looks like they have been relocated a couple of times over the years. So this is the newest location here, hey, and there. And then we've run around and patched all the ceilings up. So things are coming along very nicely. We are changing this light fixture, old knob and tube wiring, and that is the way they connected it. That does not fall under the category of good job. And I suspect this one here is exactly the same way. Okay, so we have cleaned up the wiring here. The uh, jacket on the old knob and tube has white tape over the neutral and black tape over the hot wire and then NM cable sheathing over it for protection. And that is a new metallic pancake box that we put in the ceiling instead of just having it come through holes in the wood and plaster. So uh, I'm gonna have to uh, use two hands to put this fixture on but we got a nice new old-fashioned light fixture for the location that's the old fixture that we removed a little on the dusty side Let's a quick look at the sconce lights over the fireplace and this is the new old-fashioned style light fixture in the entryway 
and it has all LED light bulbs in it, so it uses uh, very low power. And there's a uh, sprinkler head to the right. So uh, fixing up that knob and tube worked out pretty well. Uh, just had to fix up the wires, and otherwise the wires were all in pretty good serviceable condition. We just put a metal box up there, brought the wire through the box, clamped everything down. And that was it. Those are the sconces that we had been working on. So those look really good. Those have 25 watt LED bulbs in them. I think, I'm not sure, I think it's 25 watt equivalent. So we've got the same thing back there. So they put a real nice light out. Hi, Leo. Good boy, Leo. Still have to get ceiling fixtures though. So that definitely makes the room better. Okay. Okay, this is the dining room. Leaded glass window doors. Has a nice chandelier on over the table. And when you turn on the light, it has a nice appearance to it. Let me turn it down a bit so you can kind of see it better. There you go. So the light has a nice sparkle to it. This is the living room. Look at those nice big windows. And these are the sconce lights. Remember those were hidden, buried in the lath and plaster, and we discovered the wires in there. And those are the ceiling lights, much like the bedroom lights. Fireplace, and it has matching sconce lights over here. And remember, we had to chisel into the brick and mortar on that one and run a conduit to it. And we had to relocate that one there so that the lights are centered over the column of the fireplace. That was the switch we put in for those. Okay. So we put in an old fashioned light up here. Hi, Leo. And these are, okay, those are the sconce lights over on that side. And uh, I think one of the reasons that those wires, the wires for the ceiling and for those two sconces were buried because that switch and that switch never worked. And we were trying to figure it out and we figured it out. But there, the sconce light switch should be that, but that controls the ceiling lights. And that switch over here that should control the ceiling lights controls those sconce lights. But anyway, this is the big living room. 
So things are looking really nice. Also, we have these fire sprinkler heads in the ceiling here. There's four of them in this room. We had to tear down a strip all across the ceiling in here and over there. And that aided in finding where those wires were. And that is the size of Archie compared to my hand. A little guy. Eight weeks.